I remember when I was go-go dancing one night and this guy came up to me, he's like, I'm like, hey, what's up? He goes, um, I just want to let you know one of your lips is hanging out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Welcome back to Big Mood. We have some beautiful ladies here, but most of all, most important one, me. I'm just uh, <laughs> Julia, yikes. we got Julia Yay. here. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. It's been a long while. Yeah, so happy to have you. Thanks for I having missed me. you so much. I know I miss you guys too. Like literally the whole entire quarantine, I'm like, where are my friends? Yeah, oh, I, see my friends. I like left. <laughs> the I know, like, Jess is out. I know. Yeah. So who else do we have here? Jess, of course. Of course. Oh, uh, hi, it's Gina. Yeah, and Tiff, the most important one in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dude, let's I do, literally let's never do this the whole time. I never yeah. play this. She, it feels icky. Yeah. She's she weird. Has a, she has ego for two now. Yeah, yeah. she has ego yeah. for two. Yeah. There you go. That's why I grew. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so today we're going to be talking about uh, subtle signs that someone is actually a really good person. So, you know, uh, bad red flag, like red flags Mm -hmm. for bad people are Mm -hmm. really apparent. Mm -hmm. You can easily tell when someone has like a bad character or whatever it is, like when they treat, for example, when they treat service workers poorly Mm -hmm. um, or whatever, like you immediately know like, oh, this person is kind of shitty. But no one really talks about good like green yeah. flags. Or like we kind of yeah. look over when someone may actually re- really be a good person. Yeah. Or like maybe their attitude doesn't first like let you know like is mm. this a good person or not. But then they do other things and you're like oh wait those are actual signs of a good person. Yeah. Regardless of their fucking attitude. Are green flags a thing? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like yeah red flags totally makes sense. Green flags? <laughs> Yeah, what is that? That's a thing. Yeah, I think like in thing. dating too, you could yeah, be like, exactly. this is a green flag for mm-hmm. a guy, or this is oh. a yellow, be careful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What would a yellow flag be? Something that, I don't know, like, I don't know, like something that's not super bad, but you got to kind of wait and watch. Um. Doesn't put the shopping cart back? That's a yellow flag. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah. is this person selfish or is, you yeah. know, like, what's the We got it. We needed more time to suss it out. Yeah. I think that's yeah. kind of a yellow flag. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Julia, off the top of your head, what do you think could be a a good green flag that someone's a good person? Oh, uh, hmm. Uh, I I think like allowing. Yo, that chair just moved by itself and scared the shit out of me. It was was a cat. cat. Oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, I I was like, no, (laughs) no. Casey, Casey thought I knew the cat was there. I was like, Casey, why are you so calm about this? <laughs> are you serious right now? In this spiritual ass house? Okay, I didn't realize the cat was here. No, Jesus a cat Christ. jumped off a chair. And oh, no, they went on the, the chair and they were using it as a scratchy oh. post and then jumped off. I just nearly shat myself. I didn't understand why like, everyone was so calm. Okay, th- sorry. At this point, we probably need to call in Nikki and be like, can you just like uh, burn a sage or yeah. <laughs> like just purify this Not house? Not needed, please. it was a cat, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so Julia was about to say yeah. Yeah, a green flag. Um, I think allowing someone who's quiet to speak. Oh my God, like that's, that's nice literally thing. the first one. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. So ah. the, the, the way they specifically wrote this was they make space for someone who is being ignored in a conversation. Yeah. Uh, so I'm yeah, like, what? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, elaborate. Um, mm, I don't know. I just like for anybody that's like quiet in the room, I'd be like, what do you think? And they're like, oh, what? I'm like, what do you think? Come on, say something. And they're like, I, I don't. I'm like, that's fine. You don't have to say anything yeah. if you don't want to. But I think it's just like, I, like when I feel that someone is quiet, but they have something they want to say, like I want to be sure that they get heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's how, that's how I kind of feel. But like, I know that there are people that just genuinely want to stay quiet and don't even want to say anything. I'm like, that's fine. That works too. Or yeah. it's just more of that energy thing. I hate that feeling. So I notice when people do this now, so I try to stop it. But when someone's talking and then you just realize that everyone else is ignoring them mm-hmm. and they're telling yeah. the story, I make it a point to like, yes, what? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You know? Like, what were you saying? I'm listening. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes it'll be a joke. Sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That it feeling does sucks. Suck. Girl, I, I know that. I, I don't let so people well. do that to me because I'll be like, yeah, and I was telling a story. So <laughs> you need to go ahead and come back over here. <laughs> like, I'll make, you, I'll make you listen. If, I, if people stop listening, I'll throw a fit. So. Oh, yeah. Good. Dude, I give Good. up. I'm just like, yeah, well, I, I mean, if I get pissed off enough yeah. and it's happened like so much for years, yeah, I we will know. get there. We know. But for the most part, though, 
<laughs> for the most part, like in a regular setting, yeah. I'll just be like, yeah, so I'm saying this and I'm talking over you here and no one's listening off. and then, okay, yeah, no, that's Aww. cool. Aww. <laughs> Aww. I hate that. But like, that is like such a signature sound, right? Because like you start out loud and then as you're saying your story, you were like, oh yeah, and then, uh, yeah, like that happened and yeah. But mm-hmm. everyone's still talking over here, no one's listening, so no yeah. one gives a shit. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's either I'll trail off or I'll stop talking mm-hmm. and be like, Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> like, Usually though, like I, cause I, I hear you do that. You've done it multiple times in our lives where you, try, as soon as I hear that, and no one's listening to that. And I, yeah. and I perk back up and I'm like, Tiff, I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it works. I do it louder though. But yeah, when you get quieter and you start talking shit under your breath, I'm like, wait. I start, <laughs> so passive my, aggressive. My ears shit. fucking open up and I'm like, wait, Tiff's sit, trying to say something. <laughs> That's funny. She, I didn't needs, know you, she needs attention. I didn't know you paid attention. Yeah. I feel loved. But yeah. <laughs> so this person wrote, uh, they said, you know when you're in a group that only one person and, and that one person keeps trying to say something, that, but they keep getting talked over. Look for the person that will stop and say, sorry, your name. Mm-hmm. I didn't catch what you were trying to say. Can you repeat it? Or something like that. And make space for the person being ignored unintentionally. That's a great gem. I mean, a real gem. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I love people like that. I yeah. think um, it's especially hard to being in a, some, in a place like L.A. where everyone has to be like the big, the loudest, the you know, the most interesting or whatever. So Mm. a lot of times people don't even really care what anyone else around them is saying. They just have to be their person too. And and if you can find a group or a person in a group that is like that, that will stop, then, you know, they have to care. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's, Mm -hmm. it feels good because I've been in situations like that. And I think even, um, David, even though we're not super close, I do remember a few times where I just felt like very invisible when I would mm-hmm. first come into the group and he would he would kind of notice that and then like make it a point to make me feel seen. So, I mean, yeah, just I felt someone do that for me before, too. Mm-hmm. So I think that's it's helpful and it's very nice when someone will do that. Yeah. For you. Makes you feel like, oh, yeah, like someone does care. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or like, I'm not totally fucking invisible. Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Sorry, Jess, were you saying something? <laughs> yeah you know what i kind of um notice about myself though i think because i got so used to having to fight for my like for the attention mm-hmm. because for so many years i was always like a quiet little mouse and mm-hmm. i'm just like eh, it's okay fine all right whatever i'll be ignored but then i'm like wait but no that, that feels shitty like and it feels good to actually have the attention like mm-hmm. to grab the attention and people are actually listening to what, to what i'm saying so then I notice now that I unintentionally will talk over people. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, fuck. And then I catch myself and I'm like, oh, shit, I got to stop. Because now I'm doing it to others mm-hmm. when I'm not trying to. And then um, so that's like a little like, uh, what is the word? Like peeve? overcorrection? Uh, or, oh, what is it? Pet, pet peeve mm-hmm. or whatever about myself oh. where I'm like, oh, You feel shit. like you do it too much now? Like, I feel like sometimes I'll like, oh, it's because then I'll get excited about whatever we're talking. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then I want to put in like my two cents. But then I realize like, oh, fuck, I cut someone off when they were saying. Mm-hmm. So then I'll try to make it a point to be like, I'm so sorry. What, what were you saying? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I, I think what's one is done to me. See, right. Fuck, I just did it. See, no, 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 no. It's fine. I think like there's there's always there's always a place for a balance right because i think even though you don't have any intention to cut somebody off you still at least give them the chance to finish whatever they wanted to say if i catch it (laughs) if you catch it but i mean i feel like from going from like you know like you feeling like as if you were like mousy or just like not say anything to actually being able to like state what you want to say i think that's still an improvement it's just it's just a balance i would just say don't go too far extreme but i don't think you do i think you were like pretty good about it oh, yeah cool. i think it's yeah. okay because even if you interrupt people and talk over them or whatever there's still space in the conversation like you won't just steamroll them to the point where they never get anything out of <laughs> yeah like, there's definitely. people like that yeah, yeah like they're true. or they're just in a, in a group someone that will be completely just outcasted the whole time like oh, yeah mm-hmm. i don't think any of us really would allow someone for the entire time we're around them for them to feel completely ignored like yeah. that's really yeah. shitty that's true mm-hmm. we're good people we uh, unbiased unbiased opinion we are perfect <laughs> All right, the next one here, it says, um, when they're willing to stand up to people being rude to service workers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, it says, I was at a family dinner 
at a pub years ago and my sister was very rude to the waiter because her steak was overcooked or something. She really went hard on him and my brother's new girlfriend, who always seemed a shy and quiet person, told my sister to basically stop being a bitch and that waiters mm-hmm. didn't cook the food and that she's embarrassing all of us mm-hmm. everyone's and that everyone's looking at us and etc. From that point on, I knew she was a I knew she was the good sort. Yeah. Um, you have to stand up for people that can't not that they can't, but you know, at work they really can't do it. Yes, yeah, so they're not in the right position yeah. to be able yeah. to snap back or anything. Yeah. But you are, as another patron, you yeah. are definitely in that position. And that's really ballsy too, because it was uh she's a new girlfriend. Like me yeah. and the boyfriend's family. Yeah. Like that's like really Yeah, she could be instantly outcasted from or like he might have to break up with her if like everyone hates her or something. So she didn't give a shit. She was just like, Mm -hmm. No, don't talk to him like that. Like that's too much. Yeah. I would like to think of it as for her, like in her position, it's like, well, if I don't get along with these people, then this is a good sign yeah. to like yeah. really figure out their true nature. True. So yeah. like, even if they don't like me, good, bad, yeah. bye. Like, you know, you're, like, y'all are okay with this behavior? Because yeah. if so, I'm out. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I'm so. not going to have all these dinners like with people treating people like shit all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah, I can't stand those. There's people I've met people who are like, oh, because when I eat, especially if you've worked in service before, um, when I eat after I'm done, I kind of stack all my plates and mm-hmm. make it all nice and neat. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I've gone out to eat with people before. They're like, why are you doing that? That's their job. I'm like, okay, yeah, it's their job, but it doesn't help to just, or it doesn't hurt to help someone a little bit, you know? Do you do it to help them though? I do it for myself because I don't like clutter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know like you're a good person. You're a good person. You just take the long route there. <laughs> yeah. I don't like clutter. So I like to like clean up the table and sometimes they're a little slow. So, you know, I like to like hurry up and get the shit out of my way. Yeah. I used to pick up the plates and stuff and not that I ever, well, I did have like a job briefly where I mm. did that, but but um, I stopped doing it, though, because there was a time where I forgot where I was, what restaurant I was at. But I remember, like, the impact it had on me, which was the service people, they were they were offended that I was doing that for them. It depends Might the level of the country. Of, it depends the level of restaurant and also if their managers yeah. are watching. Because then exactly. you make them look like they're not doing yeah, their exactly. job. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I was like, oh, shit. Okay, I won't touch it. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the fucking rules are mm. and all these different restaurants. Like, I'm scared. I don't want to I, I would say the fancier it is, the less yeah. you're supposed to touch anything. You don't definitely like, if you drop sure. something on the floor, you're not even supposed to pick it up, which mm. I find very wow. strange. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you drop a knife or a fork slides off the table, like, you can't pick it up. Yo, yeah. that's like premium service, right? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely don't do it at a fancy place. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I know that for a fact. Yeah. I never would have done it at a fancy place, but I guess it was like higher up there where yeah. they kind of like got middle, offended. Middle, mm-hmm. higher up like type the, of restaurant. Yeah. Like they came and they just like took it with like kind of an attitude. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm actually okay. kind of curious now. Hey, people in the comments that work in food service, let us know. Do you like it when we do that or you don't? And I then think, what yeah. type of establishment and what kind of yeah. <laughs> I think also if you stack it in a way that makes their job harder, they don't like it either. So there's certain mm-hmm. things you can That's do true. that could create damp like it could damage the yeah. plates and silverware and stuff. So I mean if, if you're a little bit cognizant of like how you're stacking it too and like how they have to carry it. Yeah. I'd rather like be that. like on the side of like good intentions, mm-hmm. even if I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. As opposed to, well, it's their job. Why are you doing it for them? Like, let them do it, you know? Right. I feel like, I mean, because I, I used to bus tables before. And so when um, whenever I see, like, plates stacked, I'm like, oh, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> because then I always feel weird having to, like, reach across the table and be like, oh, sorry, excuse me. Let me yeah. just, like, organize these plates. But if they already did it, like, it's much appreciated. Uh, but I also, push it to the edge of the table. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I also yeah. don't expect them to do it either. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, especially for, like, all-you-can-eat-places, too. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you just gotta stack those. Stuff. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. All right. Next one. So they ask how you're doing and actually mean it. Mm-hmm. They wrote, I have this friend who I can just tell is really sincere when he asks how I'm doing. I appreciate anyone asking because it's a I appreciate anyone asking because it's a convenient conversation starter. But with him, I can tell that he actually cares what the answer is. I've met people like this, too. And you definitely you definitely feel like yeah. the genuine, like authentic interest from them. Is that a good person, though? Or is that just someone you're close to? Like, to? Mm. like yeah. I know whenever I have a rule that if somebody asks me hey how you doing or what do you what did you do today i make it a point to ask back unless i'm like really in, like i really don't want to talk to you mm-hmm. then i don't ask back because i don't ever want to be that person i think i learned this because uh one of my friends jokingly said 
oh, that's cool. I had a good day too because I didn't ask back. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, Gina. I had a great day too. And it's like, oh shit, that's kind of rude. So mm-hmm. I make it a point now to ask back. Unless it's like a creepy guy, then I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm good, shit. sir. I'm good. Yeah. Why are you asking? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Is that a good, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good person thing. Well, because I, I guess, you know, you could be close to your friends and feel like they don't care about you too. I don't know. I just, uh, why would you want? Like I guess if someone's not going to care about yeah. ha- about you, are you close to them? Mm, I mean, I think there's like a difference. Like, I think for that statement in particular, like if it's just anybody, whether a close friend or a coworker, if they were to ask like, hey, how are you doing? Mm-hmm. It's like, I think just feeding off of that energy of how they deliver that statement mm-hmm. is whether it's like, oh, wow, like I can actually feel the care <laughs> from those yeah. words or not. And it's just like with my coworkers, I feel like, even though we just have a working relationship, for those I ask, because there is a difference. Like for those that ask, like, "Oh, how are you doing?" Right? It's just kind of like pleasantries, right? Be yeah. like, "Oh, yeah, small you know, talk. I had it's a, like bullshit." Yeah, it's like, "Oh, I had a great weekend." Blah blah blah. And then there's some people that are like, "No, but like, seriously, like, how how are you doing?" Yeah. You know? And then like they kind of like introduce like a, a more of like a deeper kind of topic when you like talk. Be like, "Oh yeah, you know." Um, this weekend like it was just quite a roller coaster blah 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 you know like they kind of go into details about their day i'm like oh okay so they really want to know because they're now sharing a piece of information with me yeah so it's like okay yeah i, I could feel that yeah yeah, yeah like the, one of the times that stand out to me when i did experience that was like in the early days of of knowing steve like we weren't close yeah. we definitely weren't close like we weren't like you know like that but somehow like steve can like like just open up the bullshit and like get to your soul and i'm like holy shit yeah so like when he would ask like i really felt like i felt that he genuinely cared and Mm -hmm. he really wanted to know and he was invested in the conversation and he would give us feedback and like that's the the type that's the type of situation that comes to mind when i read that because i'm like yeah i've experienced that yeah definitely and it definitely feels good and it, it feels like like, yeah, like that person is a genuine person. They genuinely care and have love to give. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do you guys ever get annoyed when someone asks how you are? Um, I don't, but I do know people that do because um, most of the time they're not feeling their best. And so when you ask them that, they're like, what do you mean by that? Like, it's just like, it feels like, like such an open question yeah. to now them. Now I have they're to like, answer this negative uh, shit. Yeah, where, where it's like, mm. what, what do you want? Do you want the pleasant answer or do you want the real truth? Like, do you want to know like, oh yeah, I'm fine, I'm cool. Or do you want to know like, yeah, I had a really shit day and this is the reason why. It's like, which one do you want? Yeah. Yeah. That can be tough. Do you, you feel like you get annoyed? Um, I think that sometimes, I don't know, I feel like sometimes people use that as filler for conversation and it can get annoying to me. Mm-hmm. Or I'm just like, why do you ask that so much? And, and it just seems like they're just trying to like, I don't know. There's, there's like, I don't know. There's times when I've definitely, when someone's like, well, how are you doing? Or how are you doing? Or like, that's the first thing in the only, like they constantly ask me, well, how are you doing? Or how are you doing today? How are you doing? Today? And I'm just like, the same every day is the same like what do you want me to say like there's nothing to talk about like why do you keep asking me how i'm doing i think i think them asking was like come on get annoyed jess tell me no i think they want me to be annoyed i think they want me to talk and like share and stuff but sometimes i'm just like i don't have anything to share like i don't have anything to say and it kind of annoys me like i don't know what if they meant it as more like a light like oh hey how you doing and you're just no, like, oh, I'm good. No, it's just like a, so how are you doing? Oh. And I'm just like, I don't want to get into shit with you right now. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. So I sometimes, yeah. I mean, I get that that's a good person or like maybe they really <laughs> care, but sometimes I'm just like, God, I stop fucking asking me how, ask me something else. Like, ask me how I feel about politics. Ask me, let's like talk about oh some interesting shit. Like, stop yeah. asking me, how are you doing today? <laughs> oh, tomorrow. How are you doing today? Like, ugh. Oh, Oh my god this just Jeez. sparked this just sparked an encounter that i had with you long time Me? ago Uh-oh. yeah literally <laughs> what did because I do? so so i came into the new jk office and i think we were getting ready to prep for like jk news and it was like really dark in the office and i was like what? is anyone here i was <laughs> sitting in the dark i don't know i don't know you you were sitting in in an office okay but i was like out in the public space oh, okay. and then i was like i heard like a shuffle and i was like someone here and then, <laughs> then you were like yeah, I'm here. <laughs> and I'll be like, Jess, are you are you okay? And, and then I just remember like a long silence and then just being like, 
No. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah, that's cute. Yeah, and I was like, that's so funny. I was like, do you want to talk about it? If not, like, I can just go about the day you shoot. And Jess was like, I don't know, maybe, sure. Oh. <laughs> and then later, I remember like Tiff came by, and then we were all yeah. talking about well, probably it. Probably because I would want to talk to you. Maybe I get annoyed because like I just don't want to tell that person stuff Ooh, right, or something. Right. But yeah, yeah there's yeah. definitely one person specifically where I'm just like, stop asking me how are you doing i get it's that. the most annoying question to me but i think it's maybe just the person no, maybe it's it like is. person place or time i don't know now i want to know who it is just to make sure it's not me because no like it's I not that. you it's not anyone it's not anyone in this room at all <laughs> all right so before we continue uh just, we're gonna take a quick ad break and make sure you buy the stuff that we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> buy some stuff yeah. help support us Online shopping can be daunting. You never know if things will fit, returns are so hard, and you don't know what store to start with. This season, let Stitch Fix do all the hard work. It makes dressing so much easier for someone like me who doesn't really like to put outfits together. I like it when someone else does it for me. I put it on, it looks great, and I just go. Introducing Stitch Fix Freestyle, a shop built just for you. Stitch Fix Freestyle is your trusted style destination where you can discover and instantly buy curated items based on your likes, style, and lifestyle. Whether you're looking for a brand you love or to try a new one at Stitch Fix Freestyle, you can shop over a thousand brands personalized to your size and fit. With styles for workouts, to work wear, for lounging around the house, or for a night out, Stitch Fix Freestyle has clothes for any occasion. Plus, there's no subscription required and they offer free shipping, returns, and exchanges. Get started today by filling out your style quiz at stitchfix.com slash bigmood. That's stitchfix.com slash bigmood to try Stitch Fix Freestyle. Again, that's stitchfix.com slash bigmood. Cheers to 2022 and resolutions you can actually keep. How about having clean and shiny balls all year round? Our sponsors at Manscaped are here to save your balls this year and make the ball drop into 2022 the cleanest and sexiest ever. This year, take your package to the next level with their Performance Package 4.0 and brand new Ultra Premium Body Wash. Inside the Performance Package, you'll find the Signature Lawnmower 4.0, which is the electric trimmer that's designed to trim hair on loose skin with its advanced skin safe technology. They also have anti chafing ball deodorant and a ball spray toner that takes care of the smell smelliest parts of your body and gives you a big boost to your confidence in the new year. To complete the set, they're also giving you free gifts, anti-chafing boxer briefs, as well as the travel bag to keep all your goodies stored comfortably. The new ultra premium body wash from Manscaped is cologne infused with aloe vera and sea salt to help keeping your skin feeling clean, nice, and moisturized. Kick discomfort and poor hygiene to the curb this year and use the best tools for the job. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code mood at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code MOOD. It's a new year, no pubes in 2022 with Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com and use code MOOD. All right, and we're back. I hope you purchased some cool stuff. (laughs) Okay, so the next one says, when they crack jokes but never at anybody else's expense. This guy I used to work with was such a class clown, always cracking jokes. Everybody liked him because he was so funny. It was a while before I realized that his jokes were never at anybody's expense. There was never anything mean in anything he ever said to anybody's face or behind their back. Mm. Guys, are we... Are we bad people? <laughs> we, we crack jokes at other people's expense, at each other's expense. You yeah. Know, like, are we bad well, people? No. I don't know. Well, in a, in a working situation, right? Like you don't, you don't, you want to toe the line yeah. right, with everyone because you're not really friends with them like that. Mm. But I think we are friends like that, yeah. so we can talk shit to each <laughs> yeah. other. It really depends. Sometimes on we get a little heated, especially me and Nikki, because we're both oh. like a bull. <laughs> but then at the end of the day, we're like, yeah, we're just fucking kidding. But it depends on your relationship with those people, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Usually when I crack jokes at people's expense, most of the time I do it accidentally. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, shit, yeah. Sorry. accidental roast. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, I didn't know you could afford that. I mean, oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh and then I don't realize that what I said was bad yeah. or whatever until yeah. everyone else reacts. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, yeah. sorry. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I think it's a good sign um when someone's cognizant of everyone's feelings when you yeah. don't even realize that they're like probably actively thinking about other people's feelings because yeah. to be a, a good person it does require some sort of effort to care about the people mm. around you you know <laughs> like it can't be 
can be hard for some of us. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's a challenge. (laughs) What do you think, Julia? I mean, I don't really, personally for me, I don't think I could ever really deliver jokes per se or intentionally create jokes just because like, I feel oh, like yeah. because I feel like my head is just very blank and then when I'm like Same, trying to think girl because when I'm trying to Same. think of like a joke to make it sound funny I'm like I don't know I'm really funny yeah. I've never heard Julia roast anyone yeah. or make oh. a joke about anyone ever not on Dude, purpose yeah. you're yeah. accidentally yeah. funny for <laughs> sure <laughs> thank yeah. you yeah. thank for you sure. see the accidental funny I can totally vibe with yeah. but in what's terms your own of, thing it, yeah, it never yeah, involves yeah. like putting someone else yeah, in the story, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. always you, yeah. I just remember like thinking back on all the JK party games that we try to play and we try to be mean to people. I'm like, I fucking can't do it. Like, yeah. I can't think of yeah. anything. Roast me right now, Julia. I can't. <laughs> yeah. I would say you're fucking pale, but I'm pale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you're pale, but I'm pale. Have melanin deficiency. <laughs> Seriously. Take your vitamin D, people. Yeah. Like, that is very important for your health. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I would say you're pale, but <laughs> she's like, if I, if you're going down, I'm going down with you. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a good person. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't let me swim or sink alone. She, yeah. came, she got in with me. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I think I don't feel funny. too bad. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like to think bad of a person. Yeah. I mean, that's how, yeah. Wasn't that funny, baby? I know. Baby's <laughs> laughing <sweet>. too. <laughs> okay. Next one says, they tell you to take your time. What most people don't realize is that, is that bit of common courtesy shows that you recognize that uh, the other person is a human being yeah. whose time and emotions also have value. Many people are so lacking in self-awareness and empathy that they simply do not value other people's time. Mm-hmm. I think about that a lot. When I ask someone to do something, I try mm-hmm. try to now think like, how fast do I need it? Because the way that I speak to people, they feel mm-hmm. a lot of pressure to please me instantly. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to make sure to be like, oh, you have two days or or I don't need this right now or get to this when you can or because, yeah. But I don't know if that's a good person thing. If you don't, I think maybe you just don't. Well, I guess realizing other people's mm-hmm. yeah, because then. I, Stress. I know the opposite like I have received the opposite of not being like someone not being courteous to my time and yeah. the way that they communicate it's like give this to me now like yeah. I need this right now mm, yeah. or it's just it's like holy shit okay and like it's just yeah. like you know that feeling of like not uh, being like oh my god I need to drop everything to please yep. this person because of the way they're communicating is so fucking intense is that usually intense. a work thing or just even in your personal life you've had people that made you feel like they demanded things from your time in a personal um I think I could what comes to mind is a work thing but it also bleeds into personal okay mm-hmm. so it has happened with like the same person in the personal aspect yeah. where it's like holy shit like fucking getting a text is like give, like gives me ptsd from that person because mm-hmm. i'm thinking like holy shit i'm gonna have to drop everything I, i'm doing right now and just like go tend to what their needs are because that's how urgent it seems and yeah and then like once it's communicated like hey like i really try to do this thing i can't right now because i got all, all this other stuff and then and then that person doesn't realize that that's how they're communicating so they're like oh it's no big deal just give it to me when you have time and i'm like oh, you should have told me that the whole time ago because the way it was written it was like i need it right now and i'm like oh shit yeah <laughs> do you think though like do you think because you have a like a regular job do you mm-hmm. think that that kind of a uh, pressure of is that okay in the workplace? Like, do you, or do you feel like you would still wish that your superiors or the people demanding stuff from you would let you know how much time you have? Mm, I don't know, cause like I feel like the producer that I work under, we communicate quite often. Yeah, and I ask a lot of questions too, where I'll be like, okay, so is this a priority or is this a priority? That's helpful. And then like, yeah. how long yeah. does like. Um, when do you need it by, you know? So like, I'm always asking those questions. So I kind of like set myself up for success. That's good. That's great. But yeah. Did that come out of um, experience though? (laughs) I think so. (laughs) Thank you. I think so, honestly, because I I just feel like- How much time do I have? Because (laughs) I don't want to piss you off. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) But I I do feel like it comes in both, right? Personal and work, whether, um, you know, like you- tell people like hey it's okay you know take your time kind of thing because like i see it in like both sides where like people are like freaking out right and i feel that i'm like okay you're fine Mm -hmm. we're okay everything's good it's just like just do what you need to do and then like we'll we can figure it out from there 
Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that's always helpful because it's just like when someone is panicking, it does no one any good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It like, doesn't really. Mm-hmm. Uh, the result is probably not going to be. Yeah. Exactly. What you wanted anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good point. Like telling someone when you realize like that they're trying to tend to what you're asking for immediately. Because I notice I try to do that like for, with Casey, for example, because he's mm-hmm. so good about being like if i mention something especially right now that i'm pregnant it's like oh man i'm kind of craving a donut he's like you want me to go get a donut right now even though i know he's working on a deadline and he's like really busy <laughs> oh, yeah. and i'm like cute. oh no 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 it's okay thank you though i really appreciate that or if i do have a request for something then i'll tell him like oh just whenever you have time it's not oh, like don't yeah. rush like it's okay because he will like drop everything and mm-hmm. just go get that's it cute. that's the perk of being pregnant mm-hmm. though. <laughs> yeah like you could, know you could have let him you should let you this should, husband forever. i feel no. like a little bit though like you should let him have to be the role of like yeah. the yeah. husband that has to hurry up and go I feel get bad. donuts like i feel no. weird let him live through it a little um, so we're carrying um, a whole I'm, ass child exactly like, yeah. let him like have to run to yeah. go get donuts in the middle <laughs> exactly. of the night yeah, I'm, I'm sorry who's putting all their efforts into growing yeah. something yeah. inside of, i don't like, know another Casey, she wants a bag of air from yeah. texas yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, bag go get of it air. Yeah. 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 fly to dallas put a ziploc bag which is funny yeah one hit. The baby likes it. Yeah. The baby likes it. <laughs> Comes back. She doesn't even want it anymore. So yeah. I'm over. Yeah. yeah. I just have the greatest idea. What? Julia, since like you're still oh. working in production, yeah. I, sh- I should poach you for G4. Oh my oh. god. What? That would be so fun what to work together. What would I do? Again. Like producer. Ha- oh my god. Oh, Behind the fun. scenes camera stuff again. <gasps> ah. <laughs> Okay, I mean, yeah. Let me you're so good at it. Yeah. I don't know what you're oh, doing now, you. but you're really good. I'm, I'm just uh, a coordinator. Just a coordinator. <laughs> Dude, that would be so much fun to have you back on set. <gasps> I should talk to okay. That would be so great. <laughs> Pull some I, would, I would probably have those moments where I'd be like, Gina. Gino, why do you do this? Same I basically Gina? do the same thing that I did in JK Party. I yeah, I know that's why. Like, I could just imagine that. Yeah. Be like, Gina's like, I don't I, know if I want to work for you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Okay, next one. They bring their shopping cart to the cart return when they are done with it. Thank you. I told yes. you Nikki Thank was a bad you. person because she does not fucking take her cart back. Oh, Where does she put it? She does it. No, yeah, she said sometimes she does and sometimes she doesn't. Oh. But she's like. Yeah, I don't have to oh. all the time, right? Oh, I can just dang. like pop it up on the little oh. hill, like the little oh, grass. I'll do it. I'll do it like eighty to ninety-five percent of the time. Why eighty? That's kind of low. Yeah. Well, it's a it's higher than fucking is seventy. Wait, she make sure eighty like, percent of the time is not one hundred percent of the time. Oh, okay, so okay. It's a low. I guess I'm being generous with how many. T- I don't know. I'm not very exact. So Math what do you do hard. those other two out of ten <laughs> she times? Does, she only does. She only leaves it out. At shitty places, if there's like a storm outside, she's let these fuckers oh, go collect I guess it. That, that can be <laughs> that's horrible. It. Yeah, let them come get it in the yeah. lightning. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, the times that I would leave it is like, for example, um, I don't know. The only thing I can think of right now is fucking years ago when Isaac was a toddler and I have to like put him in the fucking mm. car seat. Oh, like, yeah. I don't want to leave if him alone. If you have alone. a baby, then fuck the car. So I'm, in like, a rush. I'm yeah. like, okay, let me just fuck it really quick. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I gotta go. No, because there's yeah. been instances of people worrying about the car or something and a baby gets fucking stolen. Oh, my oh. God. So that never happens? leave Holy your baby shit. unattended in a parking lot. Yeah, they will scary. steal your fucking baby in a parking lot. Okay, now, okay, okay, okay. So now I yeah. understand. Okay, so it's okay. <laughs> if you have a baby, a, like yeah. a toddler okay. or younger, fuck the shopping cart. Yeah. Don't okay. ever like turn your back. I never thought about that as yeah. a possibility. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, kids yeah. are ruining shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor cart technicians. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm the type of person that if I were to return the cart, I would return it to the furthest place on accident like i wouldn't see the one i honestly i honestly wouldn't see the one that is like, like three right feet away from me oh. like i would completely miss that and i'll hone in and be like where is the drop and you have to oh, walk like a there. half a mile literally away. and then when i come back i'm like oh. <laughs> and then like my friends would be like yeah you didn't see it and i'm like no otherwise i would have done it oh, oh my god, god that's so, so funny <laughs> <laughs> at least you did it right. still yeah yeah that's, that's nice true. Mm-hmm. yeah that's true okay next one when they are given a chance to quietly talk bad about someone they say something good instead that's why someone talking shit about their ex can be a bit of a red flag mm-hmm. i understand that feelings about relationships are difficult but i know that if someone speaks positively or at least in a neutral manner about their ex i trust them a lot more immediately that's that goes true. for job mm-hmm. interviews too like if you like yeah, you, even job. if you want to talk shit about your last boss or something, you can never yeah. ever. 
But if you're with your close friends, you could talk shit about people. <laughs> However, <laughs> I've met people before where they're like, oh, no, I don't talk about anyone. I'm like, oh, you're a really good person. It turns out they're not a good person. Mm, really? They just hide it very well. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. yeah. They need an ally. Well, why would somehow. they do that? To uh, like just to to see come you? off as a good person? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. huh. that's one of the most common things. Like, oh, if I never talk shit about anyone, then they'll think that I'm a good person, but it turns out they're oh, not. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess that could be mm-hmm. a manipulation mm-hmm. technique. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you, if you hear someone kind of talking shit, do you just instantly think they're a bad person or do you think like, oh, I wonder what happened with them? Like, that sounds bad or? Uh, more of the latter because I feel like there's always like two sides to a story, yeah. right? And so it's just like, well, if this person is talking poorly about another person, there must be a legitimate reason mm-hmm. why. And That's I how I it am out. too. Yeah. Like, and then it turns out that sometimes that person is shit talking you too, and everyone like every fucking <laughs> yeah. which way. Like so you're just like, oh yeah. shit, this person's yeah. just spreading shit constantly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah it's I mean, hard, but I usually just think, oh, that's interesting. Like, what happened? You know, yeah. Yeah. all nosy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then, then I get burned by that same person. I'm like, well, shit. For sure. I, I feel else. like I would. It depends on exactly what they're saying too. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. sometimes I could just be like, oh yeah, they were crazy, or like, oh yeah. They did like they treated me this way or what I don't know who whatever the point is like it depends like how they're saying like what the situation how revealing is. the yeah. information is to like is how deeply personal like I'm yeah. like oh wait maybe I maybe I shouldn't know that yeah, yeah. like especially you're, the degree of separation yeah. from the person yeah. it's like wait this is fucking weird like, why would you share something that personal with me like that's crazy that you would mm-hmm. say that that seems kind of like I think one of the worst people that I've ever met I should have caught it in the beginning because yeah um, it was like a group of creators and then he outed that person's sexual orientation immediately whoa and he's like oh you didn't hear from me sorry and i'm like i the fuck didn't like because nobody even public knows about yeah. it and i'm just like you just outed i just met you like 10 minutes ago dude yeah, yeah. crazy oh my god it's just like that one situation i forgot with like that survivor host uh it was like uh, it was on the show survivors i didn't i don't know i don't i don't don't remember like watching it somewhere i don't remember but it was like not too long ago where on the show survivor like you have like it's basically like you have to be the i think the last one standing i think i don't watch the show Mm -hmm. i just saw the clip but basically if you're on the chopping block you have to present your argument as to why you should stay and so um one of the contestants was saying that like oh yeah i bet you guys didn't know that that this person is transgender like he's a liar and it was just like what the fuck? And like nobody knew about That's it but him and he just like completely outed him and then like the host uh, i forgot who the host was but props to him though like he handled it very well and he was like so you're basically saying that trans people transgender people are liars like yeah. you're basically saying that like they're intentionally trying to lie to you so they take that guy off right <laughs> Definitely or sure. yeah. Yeah. it's in backfire Ooh, but yeah. like someone that would try to use yeah. something like that yeah. against another person that's instant yeah Ugh. yeah, yeah. and it sure. sucks too because that guy felt comfortable enough with that contestant yeah. to share that yeah. piece of information with them and he just totally used it oh as like a competition i'm like wow yeah okay bro yeah <laughs> yeah i think that's a huge red flag when they're mm-hmm. willing to just randomly tell you about someone's very clearly obvious personal really traumatizing stuff oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's shitty yeah, i guess we have to be more cognizant of it because i think everyone just like or a lot of people and sometimes including myself love some tea <laughs> oh yeah but <laughs> 100%. you have to like balance that because like yeah or then you have to remember like oh should i trust this person myself Mm -hmm. but i forget because i'm just like oh they're giving me the tea like we're gonna be friends now and then you know sometimes get burned what i think (laughs) about is um like for the most part like i try to think about like well if i tell you something private about someone else what are you going to think of me? Mm-hmm. And like, how are, how are you going to trust me? And also like, how do I know that that won't end up happening yeah. to me? Mm-hmm. So then for me, I always think of like, nah, fuck that. I'm never, I'm not doing that shit. Like, yeah. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Cause you kept a secret from me about someone else <laughs> for like forever. Yeah. You, know, yeah. We're, you and I are super close friends. And yeah. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. We both did actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, guys, come on, man. Yeah. Gina's like, hell? hey, it took yeah. six years to be in the inner circle. Yeah. yeah. What the hell? Yep. And that's because uh, for me, it's yeah. like, that's not my secret to, to yeah. tell. Yeah. That's not my There's shit. There's some things where I'm just like, yeah, I'll never, like, mm-hmm. I, it's really not my place. I'll never fucking say that shit yeah. to anyone else. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, next one. They make casual excuses to do good deeds. Mm. Picking you up from the airport, 
Oh, I was on my way. Buying you a beer? I accidentally oh. ordered two. Where is this person? You move? Where do, That's cute. Do, I need do you know out. any of these people? <laughs> I only see them on, on like TV shows. Yeah, this is some sitcom <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, you actually never, casually goes to the airport. Yeah, I've never seen anyone do that before. It's always like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you. But I've never seen them make an excuse. Unless it's or like maybe your we dad just don't or know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like maybe we're just like, oh, well. Well, they said they bought two beers. Oh, like by accident. I don't know. Like yeah. maybe we just won't even pick up on it. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But the rest of what they wrote is um, like, oh, helping you move. I need the workout. Now I don't have to go to the gym later. Anyone who does a also, favor you for you. Sounds nice. Yeah. yeah. Anyone who does a favor for you and then acts like you're doing them a favor or brushes the favor off as nothing is a person who is doing the good deed for the sake of it and not for the praise or clout they receive. Yeah. These are the best kinds of people. That's cute. I, I remember... I was reading an article about, or like a story about um, this man who helped out a homeless person that was just selling something that's completely just fucking nothing, you know. And then his son asked him like, "Why didn't you just give him the money? Why, didn't you, why don't? Why did you buy something instead?" And he's like, "Well, because it's charity disguised as dignity." Disguised oh, I with, see. You know, with dignity, yeah. it's like, oh, it's. I yeah. I didn't even think of that because like a lot of times, even like with the ladies come around with the flowers and stuff, I'm like, I don't want to take it because I feel like then you could still sell it. So I'm yeah. giving you the opportunity mm. to make more money by not taking your inventory but i could see how the dignity part might right. not be there if they're mm. not actually making a transaction so mm. that's that's probably good to know yeah yeah i like that yeah. i don't have a lot of people in, so, in my yeah. life that do that though. let me hear let me do this for you yeah <laughs> imagine it's like gina thanks for delivering my baby ah, i was just in the area yeah. <laughs> there we <you> go <laughs> do you have people in your life that or i, I feel like you're the person maybe that would yeah, help someone you're out yeah yeah, yeah. You're so helpful. This is Julia are. to the T. Yeah. I, don't, I guess, maybe. I mean, I think... The, you're just like, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like the one common story that I hear the most amongst the editors is when we did the Spartan race one time. Mm-hmm. And, like, I know that I was, like, hanging out with them, like, for, like, the first half of it. But then when I looked at the time, I was like, oh, shit, I got to book it because I got to pick <laughs> up sandwiches for these people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like... So, like, I I hear them talk about it all the fucking time, and I forget that I did that shit. Yeah. Because then they're like, oh, sorry, I got to ditch you guys because I got to go get sandwiches. <laughs> and then they finish the race, and then I just remember, like, seeing, I think, Nelson and Byron at the finishing line. They're like, oh, you finished? And I was like, yeah, I got to go get sandwiches. I totally forgot because that was just on my mind. Yeah. But then when they tell me the story, I was like, I did that? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I just imagine you showing up to Subway just covered in mud. Yeah. <laughs> four, four sandwiches, please, sir. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Um, all right so before we go to the next one quick sponsor break i'll see you in a second or we'll see you in a second (laughs) buy it (laughs) buy everything hey guys did you know that referring a friend on fan duel sportsbook could be your ticket to super bowl 56 that's right when you refer a friend on fan duel sportsbook in partnership with valley forge you'll be entered for a chance to win an all expenses paid trip to the super bowl 56 for two people that's you and a friend so you don't have to go there and be alone you could have a friend there with you or you know your grandma your mom whoever's in your life uh don't miss fan duel's biggest refer a friend offer ever all you have to do is share your exclusive referral link right from the sportsbook app and once your friend places any bet of ten dollars or more you both get fifty dollars and you will be entered into the super bowl sweepstakes if you or a friend has been thinking about joining fanduel now is the perfect time to give it a shot i mean ten dollars to get fifty dollars that is a bet in your favor i love fanduel it's a super easy to use app of all the apps they always have great offers and you get paid in as little as two hours when you win so last time i won i was like hell yeah and then i'm like when do i get to spend that and it just came like almost instantly like well like i didn't have to wait very long so if you're new to fanduel you can also sign up with the promo code big mood to get your first bet risk-free up to one thousand dollars that's a lot of doll hairs that's promo code big mood see for yourself why fanduel is america's number one sports book just download the fanduel sportsbook app and refer a friend for your chance to win a trip to super bowl 56 for two 
Don't forget to use code BIGMOOD, B-I-G-M-O-O-D. Disclaimer, 21 plus and present in Arizona, Colorado, Connecticut, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, or West Virginia. Referred players must wager $10 or more within 28 days after signing up. Bonus issued as site credit and is non-withdrawable and expires after seven days. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. No purchase necessary for the Super Bowl ticket promotion. Super Bowl promotion closes on January 9th, 2022. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text NEXT STEP to 53342 for Arizona. 1-888-789-7777. Or visit ccpg.org slash chat in Connecticut, 1-800-522-4700 in Colorado, 1-800-BETS-OFF in Iowa, 1-800-9-WITH-IT in Indiana, 1-800-GAMBLER in Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Virginia, in Tennessee, redline 1-800-889-9789 for Tennessee, or visit www.1800gambler.net in West Virginia. We deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies and why, especially when it comes to something we take every day. Now let's talk about ritual. Rituals is essential for women 18 and over multivitamin was formulated by exhaustive research to help fill nutrient gaps in the diets of women ages 18 and over. It is formulated with nutrients to help support brain health, bone health, blood health, and provide antioxidant support. Did you guys know that over 97% of women aged 19 to 50 are not getting enough vitamin D from their diets? And 95% are not getting the recommended daily intake of key omega-3s. But you don't have to worry when you take rituals essential for women 18 and over multivitamin because they invested in a gold standard university-led clinical trial to prove the impact of essential for women 18 and over multivitamin. The results? It was shown to increase vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in 12 weeks. The clinical study was also published in leading scientific journal Frontiers in Nutrition, which is a big deal. But rituals is also committed to third-party testing from USP and non-GMO project. It's traceable and vegan-friendly ingredients and always clear communication. No shady stuff. You guys, Ritual is my absolute favorite. I've been taking the prenatal for over a year and a half now. I, comparing it to other prenatal vitamins that I've had in the past, I absolutely love Ritual because I genuinely feel my body absorbing these nutrients. I don't get those nasty <laughs> vitamin burps that you get with other, other vitamins. Ritual just feels so clean. And also it's so aesthetically cute because they come in these cute little capsules. They're all gold. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend Ritual. So Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off during your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash big mood and turn healthy habits into a ritual. That's 10% off ritual.com slash big mood. Don't forget, go to ritual.com slash big mood for 10% off. And we're back. Did you buy it? Did you? <laughs> you have Gina you to answer have. to. <laughs> Next one. They ignore things like when you accidentally fart or spit while talking <laughs> so you don't feel embarrassed. I do yeah. that for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I try to ignore it. Yeah. As best as I can. Unless I know the person, then I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You fucking farted. I know you did. Yeah. I heard it. <laughs> that's funny. You know... Or, or go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Brock Pierce says good people. Yeah, Brock Pierce says good people. Good You're people. so nice to see each other. You guys caught that, right? You guys caught that? You guys caught us doing good that? Such good people. Yeah. You guys have done so well. Yeah. I, know. I know. Oh, you go first. You have a baby. <laughs> you have to speak for two. So okay. Yeah, speak okay. Two. Um. Uh. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I feel weird because I was the one who did this, but it reminds me of this one time where um a friend was. I was driving my car and we went somewhere and she was sitting in my passenger seat I'm like is this me no <laughs> it's no one no one here okay um and she was sitting in my passenger seat and she was like as i dropped her off at home she's leaving and she's like oh man like I'm, I'm on my period oh my god i hope i didn't stain anything or anything and i was just and i look and there was a stain oh, but I, I was just like oh no you're good like no nothing there and then she couldn't see it Cause it was kind of dark seats. Oh, mm -hmm. but um. But you could see like just like a dark circle or something. Oh no, I could see like the blood. Oh shit! Like it was actual. Like yeah, like it t definitely leaked through. Oh, I remember. So I dropped her off. She texts me and then she tells me, "Oh my god, I bled through." Like I hope I didn't mm. like get oh, like she noticed on her pants yes, later. Yes, yes, oh, that's I see, what it was. I see. And then I told her like, "Oh no, my car's good." Like and you're in there just like mopping up and I was just like, <laughs> hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's why I said it's kind of weird because yeah. I was the one that did that. But like that's kind of what that reminds yeah. me of. It's just like why embarrass 
them like why yeah. why make them feel like horrible whatever it's mm-hmm. like no big deal I'll fucking clean it like i'm a woman i know like yeah. it's fine yeah i, I like uh, i like people who tell you like hey you have a little something over here yeah yeah you know like, like come over here and yeah i always have to tell someone just and but it's for me though because i can't stand, <laughs> oh. i can't stand looking at it you know i like how all your good deeds <laughs> are just motivated <laughs> yeah. by yeah. Like, your she's own a selfish effort. good person and yeah, yeah. You know, just, like, whatever. It's, you. it's about the destination i don't want to stare <laughs> at it there. you know like so and it helps everyone right <laughs> Yeah, I feel like awesome. <laughs> I feel like there is no issue to point out anything if it's like your close friend. Yeah, because then that's just like a fun, funny, fun moments. Right. And I'm sure that if you guys are like close enough, then it's just like, oh, yeah, thanks for getting my back. Mm-hmm. Right. But then if it's like somebody you don't really interact with the most of the time, you're just like, what do I do? do yeah. I tell them? But, you know, I like if them? there's a stranger, a girl in the bathroom at yeah. a bar, you're going to yeah. tell her she's got toilet paper for on sure. her. Definitely. You know, there's certain times. But if it's sometimes like if it's an old man mm-hmm. and like his toupee is a little crooked, like I'm not going to say yeah. anything mm-hmm. you know because i feel kind of bad for that's him that's true it depends on the level of like what it is yeah, yeah. like if i pity them i usually like don't want to tell them because i feel like it'll hurt them or they're yeah. not strong enough to realize that something embarrassing is happening but i'm like now nah, you're fine just get that shit off your face like mm-hmm. you know yeah if, with m- most people yeah it's all about like preserving their own is it dignity like you don't kind want of, them yeah. to be embarrassed mm-hmm. what is that I guess, I mean, like, if it's for the toupee, right? It's like, you know that it's a toupee and you know that this person is self-conscious about their mm-hmm. hair because they have a toupee, so you don't really want to comment on that. Yeah. I think it's kind of one of those awareness, I feel I, like. I remember when I was go-go dancing one night and this guy came up to me, he's like, I'm like, hey, what's up? He goes, um, I just want to let you know one of your lips is hanging out. Like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, so you, you were you're dancing a good person and, yeah. and your vagina oh, was awesome. hanging out and you couldn't feel that? No. Yeah. That he could, yeah. that he told you. How did you, you not feel that? Because I had like straps everywhere for oh, me. Like it's, it, it's yeah. all, and I was like, thank you. Like you're a good, whoever that guy is, I mm. hope someone's touching your pee pee right now. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You deserve it. He man. earned pee pee touching points yeah, by yeah. Touching <laughs> helping points. you stuff your vagina lip back in your pants. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere out there, awesome. he's telling a story like this one go good answer. I had to tell her her lip was hanging out. He's commenting. That was me. Those moments for sure are unique to tell somebody yeah i think there's a like sometimes like if you don't tell them it's almost like worse because then they get embarrassed in front of more people yeah like yeah yeah, it depends it's kind of shitty if you don't say anything yeah at that point it's like now you're you're a bad person because you don't want to be the bad person you don't want to tell them or embarrass them yeah it's more about you not wanting to say something i I remember seeing a girl at the beach and this wave just like hit her but like she was fine (laughs) she was fine but when when the wave passed she just one of her boobs was hanging out (laughs) And I was like, oh, shit, I got to get to her. So I tried to get to her and be like, yo, your your boob. And she was like, oh, shit. And so she like went and she like scooped it in. And I was like, there you yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to. I had a feeling this was me. Out. Was this me? No, 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 no. It was completely different. Because I remember yeah. something similar happening in Tulum. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. No, 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 no. I've like, never wait. had that problem because uh, my boobs don't go anywhere. They're no, flat. But I do remember you though, Julia. In Tulum, a wave did knock me was down. That you? It did, <laughs> but no. nothing, ha- nothing came out. No, no, no. But I gotta, I gotta shine the light on you. Shine the spotlight on Julia and how good of a person she is because. <laughs> I, I think I even have this on video. I think I was vlogging. Or yeah, someone yeah. was vlogging. No, you, you were vlogging with a GoPro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so the part that I'm like, Julia's such a good person is because like I fell. I was fine. <laughs> but she was so quick and attentive to like pull me up. Yeah. But then at that moment, like your like the helpfulness was kind of like preventing me from getting up. Oh. So I, was like, I was like, no, it's okay, Julia. It's okay. It's okay. I got, it. I got it no but like just your intention though uh, and like yeah. how yeah. passionate you were about like helping me i was like you're such a good person julia Yo, you don't know how many fucking videos i've seen of people on the beach once they fall they get carried by the tide like yeah. no yeah. like no other dude like they just go with it and then like people try to catch him but they miss him and i'm like bro bro like i cannot let this girl drift off in front of my yeah. eyes <laughs> yeah that rip tide if you get thing. sucked yeah. into that yeah mm-hmm. that's so true that's so funny though <laughs> Okay, next one. They don't brag. Others brag for them. Mm. Could be a green, yeah. green flag. I, yeah. Okay, but also, like, are we like <laughs> never allowed to be proud of ourselves? I think bragging is a specific kind of form Intent. of communication, okay. yeah. I think. It's more like, 
Yeah. So like the other day, like, like did, everyone did. knows mm-hmm. has to know how your shit doesn't stink all the time. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think there's a right way to do it. Like, guys, can I tell you something that I'm really proud of? Really. Quick? Yeah. 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 I think Instead of just like, mm, I'm gonna. I got this ring. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're gonna do that when you get a ring, though. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're gonna be on G4. Like, so guys, today. Oh, like, yeah. um, <laughs> it's my microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even that, like, that's kind of funny. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah. I it's mean, like lighthearted, but mm-hmm. there's like a really shitty way to brag, though. Yeah, like maybe yeah. like really- I got into an argument with someone not too long ago. They were like, why do people feel the need to tell others how much they make or something like that? Mm-hmm. You know, and I was like, well, do you think it's like that they're bragging or that they're proud of the fact that they yeah. got to a certain level of income? Like, not that that's their whole value or anything, yeah. but like it's an accomplishment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess there's maybe I don't know. Some people don't like bragging, and but sometimes maybe it's not always bragging. It, that's yeah. like it's difficult to say when it's because, like, say if I met someone and I was like, yeah, and then now I have like this many streams of income and I can make this much, and I'm like so proud of myself, you know, I was like super, yeah. super fucking poor or whatever. Then that per if that person comes back at me like, why do people feel the need to tell you how much they make? Mm-hmm. And then I'm just like, I mean, uh, why, why yeah. is that? why is that bad i don't know i'm like sharing something that i'm proud of i think it's the way that you do it because for like yeah. example like some girls just talk to me like yeah you know it's whatever like i go to celebrity parties all the time you know mm-hmm. i always get invited to these things and like I'm friends, always- I'm friends with brad, brad pitt you know, but it's, like, yeah. like, it's like that you yeah. Know? yeah that's yeah. The annoying stuff yeah. yeah or like oh i like your purse so i got it like the super expensive one the other one have you heard of the brand that's better than yours you know yeah. like it's, it, oh, there's yeah. a very certain type of mm-hmm. way of doing it down to you yeah yeah there's high Horse. two different stories that have both of both of your guys' yeah. examples. Mm-hmm. So one is um, when I was working at a restaurant, I don't think I've ever made so much money in my life yeah. that like I was just so excited and I had no intention like, of I made doing $1, this. $1, yeah, I was day. like yeah. showing my roommate. I was like, yo, can you, do you see this? Like, I can't believe this. Right. And like, I understand that like she was probably like not in a good place at the time. Yeah. And I should have just been a little bit more mindful, at least yeah. personally for me. Right. Because she was like, can you not flaunt your money to me, please? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it's kind of like well, putting me down, right? Like, yeah. so she was able to communicate yeah. to me. And because of that, I was like, oh shit, this is not like the right thing to it's do. It's not exciting for you. It's not yours. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So like for me, I was just like, oh shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry, right? And so that was the other one. The other one was also at the restaurant. And I remember I was gifted a watch from my aunt and uncle. It was like a Michael Kors watch, mm-hmm. right? And <laughs> I had this coworker that like, always bought like brand name stuff or like um invest into it right which is like you know not a bad thing because i think that you know whatever money you put into it is worth right and so she was just showing me he's like yeah you know i just got this watch like it was so new and like it's like really hard to get and it looked like a knockoff michael kors watch but i didn't know how else to tell her i'd be like oh yeah i have that watch right and then she was like oh yeah i was like yeah like let's compare so then i compared it you can tell mine was the real shit and hers was fake and then the next day i never saw her wear it ever again and i was like that was not intentional (laughs) but also at the same time you're like oh by the way your michael kors watch is fake yeah Yeah. (laughs) the diamonds fell off that's crazy (laughs) mine are pretty solid that is so funny (laughs) Mine, I don't think mine is doing yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Yours, I don't know. Yours kind of looks cheap. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. But like, yeah, she was definitely like bragging about her watch and shit. I was yeah. like, I mean, like, look, great for you. You feel happy yeah. for it. But then like, if you're trying to say it's a real deal, I'm like, sorry. Yeah. Oh, not, that's man. so funny. <laughs> that's I had embarrassing. an accidental moment like that actually a week or two ago. <gasps> I was at an engagement party, right? And her ring was beautiful. Like, so beautiful. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I got it from, or I mean, uh, he got it from me from this site called, um, something earth like uh brilliant brilliant mm-hmm. earth or whatever and i was like i heard that name Wait, before. is that the instagram ad once? yeah i always see it oh it's like their ads there's always ads. so i was like i heard that name before and i remember it was something that i liked because mm-hmm. i liked um like i don't i don't care much for real diamonds i like like moissanites mm-hmm. i like uh lab grown more like eco-friendly yeah yeah and i was like oh i remember that name well it's the site that does oh what was it it's it's i don't think it's a moissanite one right and then this guy comes up he goes did you just call her ring a moissanite ring that's kind of rude i was like no 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 no, no not at all i'm just saying like it, i'm trying to figure that out what that brand also was, has yeah yeah what was yeah. that known for and she's like oh it's lab grown ones i'm like there you go the lab grown ones i'm like not calling her a moissanite ring yeah. like calling even it, a moissanite ring not, is fucking 
nice. Like, like, yeah. Why, why is that an or, insult? He said something like, are you saying that she can't afford a real diamond? I was like, uh, no. Like, what the hell? First of all, who are you? <laughs> First yeah. of all, where'd you come from? Yeah. Yeah. She can come from her own insurance. Yeah. yeah. Like, we do project their own insecurities yeah. on you. So I was like, no, I didn't mean to say that it was like a fake diamond, you know? And she's like, no, it's a lab grown. I'm like, there you go. That's the reason why I've heard of that. Because I wanted one of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so Dang. funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> he comes in all catty. Trying to say it. Yeah, trying to it's the guy that would buy it though. Not uh, her. She's not gonna buy her own. Oh, game. true. You're yeah. not offending her. Oh. Yeah. Maybe it was like the best man or something. Or no, wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no. I don't know. Guys, no, don't give a shit. He <laughs> popped up out of nowhere. I don't even know where the hell he came from. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> He's so he just thin. appeared. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All right, next one. They are good to animals and customer service staff, especially when they are agitated. Mm. Well, yeah, duh. I mean, we don't like animal killers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they don't have to be killers, but they could just be like, I don't care about this animal's life. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Be neglectful. Yeah. Or why do you care about this stupid animal? Person, because I I don't care that much about factory farming. My bad person. Factory farming. Yeah. What's that? Because like you know how vegans are like so concerned about the welfare of animals that mm. they're only vegan not because they don't like the taste of me but because they don't like how they're treated right but i like knowingly still consume meat am i a bad person because of that i don't know i struggle with that same <laughs> question yeah. because i'm like i have seen the videos and i have heard how they're treated especially when it comes to like milk and like the whole thing with the, the milk and mm-hmm. yeah and i'm like oh but I still consume it. Yeah, I'm the same way too. That, I feel like, like oh, this one's yeah. a little hypocritical because it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll treat a dog and anything cute oh, amazingly mm-hmm. and I'll make sure that they have a soft little bed <laughs> and then I'll eat a steak. So I don't know. It's a little <laughs> hypocritical. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like I, there are some things it's like if I can avoid it, I do. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I think I learned somewhere that those ostrich skin bags from designer stuff, yeah, those ostrich bumps, like mm. yeah, it's from them yanking out the feathers. <gasps> and I was like, well, I'm never getting one of those. So I'll do something like that. I don't even like the way it looks. Wait, anymore. are they That's alive weird. or dead? I, I, I don't alive? Because if they're dead, I think it was when they're alive. They pluck know. when they're alive. The down, That's like horrible. down feather stuff, like they're alive yeah. still. Oh shit, they're they like, are. Why? I don't know. Oh, I mean, I haven't done all the research. Okay, this I like is to like be a rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is a yeah. fucking rabbit hole. Yeah, so I make mean, an effort, but it is hard still. Like, yeah, yeah. Like eating food and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. I think, for example, like okay, that whole side of the animal thing. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, let's set that aside. Okay, that's big to unpack. But I think, like, <laughs> I think more like, for example, you see some uh, fucking I don't know stray dog on the street. I'm trying to think of like a not so cute animal, like oh, a I see. like a Snake. possum that's kind of injured on the side of the what road but still this? alive what about this what would you do oh injured it's roadkill come on see she's a Texan, <laughs> dude come on okay well, what about this though what about this okay when i first moved back to texas there was a there was like a period of time when there was like a bunch of beetles that would come out right like these big huge black beetles like the ones you would see like they're kind of like green the ones that like i caught really, oh really yeah, pretty yeah. Like at this. but they're like huge they're like you know, like a couple inches wide and long, real big. Oh. And then for some reason, there were so many of them out. And for some reason, they don't know how to walk and they kept falling on their back. So oh. there would be, I would take my dogs for a walk and there would be so many beetles just like, oh my God. Like they can't fucking roll over. And well, my dogs would try off? to tie, no, yeah. my dogs would try to like attack them. And I would keep my dog from attacking the beetles and I would like, fucking kick it over Mm -hmm. so it could walk like keep going Mm -hmm. because so many of them would be just on their fucking back all these little beetles and i'm like they're totally pointless they're probably gonna get run over by a car but like i would like to flip it over and let it go on its journey imagine just like like, i hold my dog's back and then i just stomp on it (laughs) no (laughs) (laughs) at least they can eat them them. whatever (laughs) dude i'm so inconsistent when it comes to insects because sometimes i'll be like Oh, let's just like try to capture it and release it. But then other times I'm like, it, it like the same fucking insect. I'm like, it's fucking disgusting. Just kill it. Just get yeah. it out of if here. If it's a spider, <laughs> 10 out of 10, I want it dead. If you, <laughs> if it has more than eight legs, I want it dead. Like spiders, more than chill eight? with. Yeah, because spiders, I'm chill with. So like if you to yeah, yeah, more, are scary. Uh, those can get fucked. Are scary. Like, yeah. oh, I cannot stand those. No, mm-hmm. like the June bug. Like one of them came inside the house. June and, bugs are cute. And I was just, well, see, I grew up like I the very first time I saw this bug, it was called a stink bug or brown bug. The brown or, one? I don't mm-hmm. remember. But a June bug looks it's shaped like brown, weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's brown. It's small. It's yeah. Like a little dime. I don't yeah. know. But whatever this bug is, when I very first saw it, 
kids this is elementary school so they all said like if you kill it it's gonna stink and it's gonna be so gross and you don't want to ever kill this bug you always want to just like shoo it away or whatever mm. and then casey was like well no this one's a june bug like it won't do that yeah. so then i'm like so kill, kill it, it. <laughs> oh, kill it. <laughs> oh my god so, yeah the june bugs i don't get i feel like if it's gonna hurt me i have to kill it yes like mosquitoes i yeah. fucking hate okay, mosquitoes those we kill. I, I hate mosquitoes, mosquitoes yes. too yes. yeah yeah, yeah. i know those the moment die. i see them i'm like you're going fucking down. Zika virus carriers yes. yeah. yeah especially yeah. yeah especially now that i'm pregnant and i've been getting mosquito bites yeah i'm like Oof. a little bit paranoid creepy. I'm, scared, Dude, I'm, I'm like seriously so like initially i thought crane flies were mosquitoes because they look they're exactly huge. like them but they're, they're just big yeah. right and i used to be like scared of them and i remember my mom she'll catch them with a hand her hand Ooh. and i'll like i'll be like such a little bitch she'll yeah. be like huh <laughs> <laughs> like, wait so are they it? biting her what's happening no, no, it no, wouldn't. no the big crane, crane flies no, they don't crane flies oh, don't, yeah, they're don't so bite gross, people yeah. they actually eat mosquitoes and when i learned that oh, like, really? you are my fucking friend yeah. Yeah. i can't believe i was scared of you i'm glad i know that now never kill you i didn't know that in my 32 years of my life oh spiders 32 yeah the spiders too they kill all the bugs that you yeah, don't but also yeah but they know black widows though they i wouldn't want to hell black i don't know if they do or not but i know black widows can bite me yeah uh, true. <laughs> so like, true. and then there's true. like the brown widow too yeah. Yeah. yeah see i don't know insects are tricky that's why i'm like i don't know if i really fall into this category because i own one of those bug zappers so I'm like, I don't know, am I a bad person because of yeah, that? Yeah, because you're just zap, zap, zapping the shit out of all kinds yep. of insects. <laughs> all right, so that's our episode, you guys. Hope you learned some stuff. I learned that we are all such great people. Yes. Oh, yes. We are <laughs> super good. Yeah. I hope you, you were introspective with your own self. And if you realize that you're the opposite of this, I hope you change your ways and become a better person. Put the shopping cart back. <laughs> Limo. Yeah. Limo. <laughs> <laughs> I do now. Oh, she said she doesn't now. She said she doesn't now. Okay, good, good. She doesn't now. She doesn't now. We're good. We're good. Unless you have a baby, then I get it. <laughs> yeah. And thanks so much to Julia for joining yeah, thanks us. Thanks for having me. Make sure to check out her IG. It's in the yes. description. And what else? Uh, maybe my YouTube, but um, also check out Stat Boost, which is a clothing company that my boyfriend and I work on together. Yeah, Stat yeah. Boost. Stat yeah. Boost. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Cool Be the best you. Yeah. I don't. I, that's not our slogan, but I mean, that's part of the mission statement. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah. And make sure to check out our sponsors to support the show and like us. Rate us five stars, not ten, five or actually ten if you can. <laughs> and we love you. We'll Bye. see you next time. Bye. Be good. Bye.